with everyone. So the way I think you're saying to walk into uncertainty is not to have all the answers, but to also realize you're not alone, that we're doing, we're, we could build something together because we're all creative geniuses. We dream this up as a way out of the nightmare and something right. Right. Oh. Yeah, and yeah, and when more of us have this realization of what we're contemplating, and this isn't some sort of weird new age thing, you know, oh, Paul's just like this, whatever, you know, I would Well, be... your time has come. You don't have to worry about that. This is your time. Right, no, no, no. This is, this is something, this is, this is actually, like I was saying, people are thirsting for seeing the deeper meaning. Yeah. This, you know, I'm just offering, hey, when you look at it this way, all of a sudden, it's an incredible offering. It's, it contains its own medicine. It's an incredible gift. It's a hidden treasure. It's a terma, you know, all of these things. But it, the thing is, it's a hidden treasure. Like quantum physics, everything depends in potential. And, and quantum physics is showing us that we participate in the creation of our universe moment by moment. The same thing with this treasure. How is it going to manifest? How, how with the, the gifts that are being offered to us by the coronavirus, they only will manifest in their beneficial aspect if we get what they're revealing to us. And then we have to step into the dream, I incarnate, and that. Actually, how do you step into the dream? Yeah. Yeah, and actually participate. This is, we ha it's a participatory sort of thing we have to do, just like quantum physics is showing this is a participatory world. And then, so it's not just something you can passively watch and meditate and do mantras and think, oh, it's going to magically, that's to be narcissistic at this point. Yeah, you want to do your spiritual practice, but you also have to cross pollinate with participating in the world and become, you know, many people are talking about quantum activists, become a quantum activist, become, you know, this awakened person in the dream, recognizing the dreamlike nature, connecting with other people who are realizing that, and you discover we can connect in a way where we dream ourselves awake, you know, and that's evolutionary. That's what's being offered to us. What does it mean to dream ourselves awake? So we are waking up because we know this is a dream now. So let's say, but we're not yeah. fully awake because we're, we're stuck in the, uh, what we call a nightmare. It's like when you have a lucid dream. It's not that hard to recognize that you're dreaming and have, you know, become lucid, but it's incredibly easy and seductive. I, I don't want to cast a spell, or at least in my experience, it has been to, you know, get entranced by the forms of the dream and forget. Right. So if, oh, I'm lucid, and then, oh, I get absorbed back into the dream and I identify I'm with it. awake, yeah. Right. And, but when we can connect with each other, we can actually help each other, like I was saying before, to stabilize our lucidity, to deepen our realization. You know, that's the real Sangha of the Buddha. And, and then when we do that, we just naturally attract more and more people who are also having that realization and who are activating the collective genius of all of us. And as we're realizing, my God, we're collectively dreaming this. Everybody is, but most people aren't aware of it. But as that virus spreads, that's the, that's the medicine for Watiko, which is the medicine for the coronavirus. You see, because if we healed the coronavirus today and went, and went back to, it would be, a, a, that would be the nightmare because then everybody thinks, oh, everything's okay. No, that's what we don't want to do. 